everyone and welcome to the Scattergories TBR game for September. In last month's TBR I gave you a selection of things that I was hoping to read in the upcoming month and I was thinking, I was hoping to do that again this month, but for some reason just in the last day or two I've become so much of a mood reader and I'm having a really hard time deciding what I want to read. There are definitely videos but nothing that I have right now is really timely. They can sort of go up this month or next month, it doesn't matter. So I'm interested to see what the game gives me and sort of hope that it tells me what I'm in the mood for. Am I feeling smart? Not particularly, but it has to be done. Is this anything? Maybe. All right, here we go. Oh, now, see, good, good. Three minutes on the clock, list nine. Let's get our roll on. G. Great. So I got all but one, and the one that I didn't get was author. And I'm really embarrassed, and I'm just gonna take a minute <laughs> and see if I can think of literally anything. I'm looking at everything here. Nothing has it. I don't think there's a single one. The closest I can come up with is a Sean and McGuire, but that doesn't count. I didn't write anything down. It's not important. I'll go to my Goodreads and it'll tell me how stupid I am anyway. Let's talk about the answers that I did get. Restaurants, I did grandma's. I couldn't think of like a chain restaurant, but sometimes going to grandma's is a special culinary experience. Notorious people, Gilbert Godfrey, fruits, grapes, things in a medicine cabinet, gauze, toys, grappling gun. There's got to be a better toy than that. I just can't think of it. Household chores, gardening, bodies of water. Georgian Bay got really lucky on that one. I only know so many bodies of water. Eight authors, we're not talking about it. Nine, Halloween costumes, Grinch. I realize that is Christmas themed, but you can do anything at Halloween. Weapons, gun, things that are round, globe, and words associated with exercise, gym. That was a really tough one. I had maybe half on the first pass through, which is bad. And I'm not confident about any of these in terms of actually being able to find books associated with them, so wish me luck. Hopefully my mood reading will prevail. That's really the big downside of this is I could do all this and then only be able to come up with books that I don't actually want to read. I'm sure it won't happen. And we're back. I'm actually very happy with what I came up with. It took me a minute but we ended up with some really solid stuff, some videos that'll work. I'm very happy. But first allow me to thoroughly embarrass myself by the sheer quantity of authors with a G name that I could have picked from. Sarah Gailey, Roxane Gay, S.T. Gibson, Max Gladstone, Malcolm Gladwell, Pam Godwin, Megan Golden, William Goldman, Chloe Gong, John Green, and perhaps most embarrassingly, Mira Grant, who is Sean and McGuire. I don't know how I screwed it up that badly, but it doesn't matter. We're not using that prompt anyway. I just realized I didn't do the buzzword. Will any of my books fit for the buzzword? I don't think so. I will include a clip here talking about what I decided to do this month. The theme is light and dark. This was actually really hard trying to find something that wasn't just a night word or a color word, things that have been covered by other buzzwords in the past. So I'm not super happy in terms of meeting the challenge, but I'm happy with this book. The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Laval. Super short, 150 pages, a horror novella. It knocks off some challenges for me. I've put this on TBRs in the past, so I'm excited to get to it. But it also means that this has a very high chance of getting swapped out because it doesn't fully meet the challenge for me if I find something else that meets it more closely, or I could just fill it in by mood reading probably. 
But let's talk about what I am doing. The first prompt that we're using is grape and I just went for something grape colored. I'm going to be reading Love Beyond Body, Space, and Time, an indigenous LGBT sci-fi anthology edited by Hope Nicholson. I've had this book for too long at this point, especially considering how short it is. I'm going to be reading it for a video, so hopefully it goes well for me. Then we're going to be using gauze, and for that I'm going to be reading The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. My thought process here is this character is sewing with a needle and thread, and whenever I do that I injure myself and need some type of gauze. I don't know what this is beyond it's a cult story, and I'm very excited about that. I didn't even read Ashley Winstead's big book last year that everyone was raving about, but I'm obsessed with this cover. I just think it's amazing. Also very grape-like, but uh, it worked better for this prompt. Samantha Downing says, it's a stunning, disturbing thriller that had me gasping for air. I'm on board. Our next prompt is Grappling Gun, which is something I associate with like a cartoony hero superheroes, supervillains, shall we say. So I'm going to be reading Vicious by V.E. Schwab. The only V.E. Schwabs I've read before this are Added LaRue and the first one in The Dark Shade of Magic. It's called the Shades of Magic series, that's what it is. Um, but I'm very excited to get into this one. I, it's something about super smart people become super villains. For how much people talk about this book, I really haven't absorbed much, uh, but I'll let you know at the end of the month. Then after that, we're using gardening, which when I think of fancy gardening, I'm thinking of like the sprawling English homes with like maybe a topiary maze. And that makes me think of Piranesi. This is something that everyone says you should go in knowing nothing, but it's something about our character exploring a labyrinth, figuring stuff out. I think it might have to do with like memory. It's unclear, but it is one of my must reads. And I am really excited to get to it if a little intimidated. And then the final prompt that we're using is Globe, and I'm going to be reading Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. Uh, this is something the audiobook came in while I was looking for books to read, and I was like, hey, I can spend a couple hours on this audiobook. It's something about our main character is like a treasure hunter? I haven't actually heard anybody speak about this, but I do think that this is going to be a good time. Even the Christina Lawrence that I don't love, I still have a good time in. That's it, short and sweet. Here's some of the books that we're gonna be reading. It's gonna be a good month. Thank you so much for joining me and have a lovely day. Bye.